this one. This one's the one. How do you knock someone out in seconds? Well, we're going to look at that this week. But the idea is not to necessarily punch them straight in the jaw. Common idea, we've had a lot of comments on this on our channel, that if someone comes in, you hit them bang on the jaw and you knock them clean out. Well, there's a risk that you can cripple your hands and there's also a risk that you punch them in the teeth, which also has an infectious risk as well. We're going to look at carotid strikes and how and the science behind how it works. So from my experience, the best way to knock someone out is to hit them in the carotid artery. And it's exactly the same concept as restricting the blood flow in, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, for example. If you're applying a choke, say, for example, a rear naked choke, a choke works by restricting the flow of blood through the artery to the brain. So what eventually happens is when you compress the two arteries and you squeeze them, it creates this dizziness. And the dizziness leads to the person passing out. Well, it's the same thing if you were to use an open hand strike and you were to hit with the open hand into the same vicinity. It would create a pause in that supply of blood and that person will either stun, and from my experience they do, or they will pass out if you hit simultaneously from one side to, to the other side. So hitting into the carotid actually creates a stunning effect that actually passes the guy out. The best way to knock someone out, hit the carotid. So the next question is, when do I apply the carotid strikes? Well, if a sucker punch makes sense, if someone's throwing a punch, and from my experience, whenever I've got into this situation in a confrontation, from here, I can whip my hand in and hit with the edge of the hand quite quickly. So what I'm doing is I'm hitting, 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 and I'm moving, and that's what allows me to find the hand. But it's the whip of the hand, and the fact that you're hitting with the edge of the hand, and driving down into the carotid, that actually gives you that instantaneous uh, effect of knocking the guy out. That's the first one. Secondly, sometimes when you've got your hand stuck on the inside and the guy's pushing past, this also works from my experience, that what you can do as you're flying past is to switch to the other side. So you steer it away, and as you're steering it away, you hit that way, you hit that way. So you literally just, in the medley or the struggle of the movement, you steer it and you hit. And the final way that I found, for me, that's worked quite well, quite successfully, is always to double up. So when I hit one side, to switch to the other side. And that is essentially the same as when you're doing a cross choke in jiu-jitsu. Okay, you're going in this position and you're crossing and you're restricting both sides. But what you're quickly doing is going one, two, or one, two, or one, switching to the other side. And that is one way to actually choke someone out or chop someone out or restrict their arteries and pass them out quite quickly.